change lady. A little change lady. Look at you. Hi, Anton. I've uh, never seen you all dressed up like this. Well, do I look the part? <laughs> sure. Look at me. <laughs> Coffee? No. Yes. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> well, you're supposed to be nervous on your wedding oh, day. Right, right. You really look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thanks. Borrow the dress. <laughs> It's a marvelous thing you're doing, oh, Bronte. I don't really, those I think speeches, you and George were. Speeches. Okay, no speeches. Hey, hey, George. Attends, on arrive. Bouge pas. Coming. Nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> you were very good. So were you. <laughs> oh, here's Anton. That's a copy for you, Bronte. Ça c'est pour toi. Voilà. Merci pour moi. Ça va s'arranger maintenant. Merci. I never forget Africa. Africa? Yes. Where we met. Oh, the coffee shop, right. <laughs> OK, ça so, uh, good luck with your life. Et merci à toi, vraiment. Je t'en prie, Tu as besoin de moi tout de suite. Bien sûr. And good luck with your composing. With what? Your music. Oh, yes, all right, yes. OK. So what happens next? That's it. You don't even have to see him again. Yes, that's where we met. And he's there now. Again. Uh, I wish he were here, but he's not. He'd love the apartment, though. He travels a great deal. But he's the quiet type. We both are, really. What's he doing there? He's a composer. African music. Not drums. We couldn't have someone who played the drums here. Oh, no, no. He studies their music. He's an academic. He himself is not African. He's French. Oh, 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 French. Oh. What is this? Green gorillas. Not some sort of an army, is it? It's a volunteer garden group, Mrs. Bird. They do very good work amongst the poor. And you'll notice that Mrs. Foray is also with our city parks department. Uh, we did have problems with a recent tenant, a single gentleman uh, who uh, neglected the responsibilities associated with 12F. And that's why the board feels that a young married couple would be more suitable. Well, I think it's the fact that Mrs. Foray is a horticulturalist that's very much in her favor. Yes, but it is highly irregular to give our approval. I like the Mr. couple from the bank, not the one with the dog. Look, I'm very aware of the situation. It's just that, well, I could bring the garden back to the way the lay professor had it. I don't want to get too technical, but the Mirantos, the Conora needs thinning, and. The crinums and the zamias are sadly neglected. The camadoria is root-bound, and special care must be taken for the poor Cyantha Dickinsonia. Not to mention the cordyline of the heliconia. And there's work nurturing the aspidistra, begonias, the bromeliads.
I've got some good news. Oh, what's that? How about 3,000 square feet of quality topsoil? You're kidding! No. Get this. Burger King does this. This big press hype over at the Sheraton Center. Uh -huh. They recreate Texas or something. <laughs> Giant burger city in the middle of Texas. Anyway, they don't know what they're going to do with the soil when they're all through. Dave says, I know just the guy that'll take it off your hands. Me. Uh -huh. Hey, Harry, how you doing, man? Look at this. We're officially approved. Daddy Rick. Hey, man, are you our waiter? No, sir. Joe, that guy. Let's get out of here. It's awful. I think we'll find any place else. Look at this. Look at this time. We have been sitting here a long time. Maybe two hours. Let's go. You have chosen? Uh, Somebody else. Uh, what are your specials? Right. Uh, from Switzerland, we have um, calf's liver with a special sauce. And uh, from old England, we have roast beef. I don't eat meat. Why not? Pardon me? If you don't eat meat, we have uh, fish. No, I don't eat fish either. I'm a vegetarian. Uh, Do you have a vegetarian special? Of course. All nations vegetarian. Good. I'll have that, but no oil or no salt. No salt for you. OK. Uh, I think I'll take the fish. Me too. Fish. Yeah. Two for the fish. Okay. And uh, for Mademoiselle? Or is it Madame? <laughs>
Just here on the right. Just right here. Let me come up? Mm, no. What is it, a girl's dorm? <laughs> I've never even seen your apartment. What's with all the secrecy? What secrecy? Well, most girls I've known have tried to crowd me. Mm. Except you. <laughs> I do a little crowding from you. You coming or what? Okay. Okay. Evening, Mrs. Foley. Hello, Oscar. There's some mail here. Mostly addressed to Miss Parrish. I guess some folks don't know you're married. I still go by the name Parrish. Women's lib, huh? Yes, I guess so. Nothing from Africa. Oh. I already checked. I guess he's still on safari, huh? Something like that. Good night, Mrs. Foley. Good night, Oscar. What is it you want to know? I just want to speak with George Foray. He doesn't work here anymore. What? He was the route to a customer. We don't stand for that. Excuse me. No, please. I must find him. Do you know where he lives? George Foray is trouble. You would do best to avoid him. Now, if you excuse me, young lady, I have customers waiting. You're a friend of George. I'm sorry, I've never seen you before. Welcome back. How was Africa? Africa? Yeah, you got any bags? No, no, not just me, just... You know, when I first seen you, I thought to myself, this guy just stepped out of the jungle. And I was right. Oh, it's great to see you back. <laughs> I hate to see a young couple like yourselves, you know, separated like you've been. It's bad for the marriage. Call me old-fashioned if you no, want. No, 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 oh, no, no. But that's what's wrong with this country, you know. <laughs> the family is going down the toilet. The toilet? The toilet, well, yeah. Well, uh, Fifteen years I'm married to the same woman, see? See my kids there? Oh, huh? Yeah. I call her twice a day. I don't go for that women's lip stuff. No, sir. Oh, Couples no. living in sin, that sort of thing. Oh, that's no good. Oh, no good at all. These people are due here any minute, so, um, look, I think we better talk about the situation, don't you? You got my note? Of course you did, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Uh, I spoke to my lawyer, and he said not to panic. It's probably just routine. You got some coffee? 
coffee? Yeah. Right. Good idea. We'll just have coffee like any normal married couple. How's the composing? Didn't you get the big job in California? No, I don't like them, you know. I prefer to be a waiter than work for people like that. But you're not at the restaurant anymore. No, I quit. They said you were fired. Really? <laughs> Funny. I hate that captain, you know. It's really a snob type. Oh. These people are due here any minute, and you stroll around my apartment touching my things. Do you realize the situation that you've put me in, do you? I'm sorry, Betty. It's Bronte. Oh. This is hopeless. The coffee? The coffee? Yes. I'm about to go to jail, you're going to be deported, but what about the coffee? Yeah? Uh, may I speak with Mr. Foray, please? No, this is Mr. Foray. This is immigration. Ah, okay, come on. What? What are you doing? Better put them in my closet. Oh. oh, God. Ring, ring. to a guy at the restaurant this year. They go simple. Can you get it, Jerry? Let me do the talking. No, I'll do the talking. You don't speak much English. I'll just tell them what to stop. Oh, relax. We're together, OK? Don't panic. Jerry? Gorski. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Please sit down. Mr. Foray? George, please. Yes. Now, you entered the country five months ago, according to our records. Yes, and already I love it. Yes. Well... Land of opportunity. Such a great country. Yes. I, I already I feel at home. Uh -huh. So lucky. <laughs> Beautiful wife. <laughs> apartment. Yeah. Plants. Oh. So lucky. Uh, well, um... Your visa, a B-2, a tourist visa, allowed you only six weeks. Now, that in itself is an offense, but more recent events have overtaken that. Your marriage, of course, gives you automatic residency status. Now, this is your place of residence. Of course. Yeah. You moved here after the marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We spoke to the chairperson of the building. He said you'd been away, Mr. Foray. In Africa? Yes. Shooting elephants. Oh. With a camera. Oh, oh, of course. Yes. And he brought me back some plants. Yeah. Some violets. African violets. And violets. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, where did you live, Mr. Foray, before the marriage? Oh, all over the place, you see. <laughs> In the park one night. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, where do you work? Porn. 
My husband's a composer. He's working on an important composition right now based on his African research. A composer? We don't uh, have a note of that. And uh, you write what? Uh, rock and roll? Ballet. I write for the ballet. Ballet? Your statement on your passport application said you had no criminal convictions. Is that a true and correct statement? Of course. You speak French, Mrs. Foray. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not exactly. No barrier to love, though. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> well, that about does it. We're sorry to have troubled you. There's been a major clampdown on illegal aliens marrying for residency status and the green card. It's come down from the top. The White House. Well, you don't want to get the wrong type. Huh? Precisely. We understand. As a matter of curiosity, how did you two meet? I'm sure it was very romantic. We... Well, uh, you go ahead. No, you please, please. We, just... you, we sort of crashed into each other. Boom, like that. <laughs> Goodness. Yes, I was uh, carrying a lot of parcels. And, uh, parcels? Yes, parcels. And, and, and I picked and them Anton. up. And, Don't forget about Anton. Uh, Anton, yes. He was Anton. with George and I knew yes. him. Yes, he also helped pick up the parcels. Yes, but the point is, darling, is that he introduced us. Oh, that's true, he did. Mm. He did, yes. <laughs> Anton. And? Well... So, um... Oh, it was raining. Oh, yes, and, uh, we got soaked. <laughs> I took one of her parcels when I picked up mine. Oh, you had parcels, too. Oh. Well, everyone had parcels. So many parcels. So, uh, uh, I, I, so I picked up one of hers. By mistake. Yes, so I had uh, my parcels and uh, her parcel. And I was uh, staggering around like this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and... Uh, Somebody better get the telephone. Couldn't be for me. Well, it could be, dear, but <laughs> don't worry, I'll get it. We don't want to have a husband and wife fight in front of our guests. <laughs> Hello? Bill, you're still upstate, aren't you? No, I'm glad you're still there. Do go on, Mr. Foray. Bill, I can't talk right now. Hmm? The parcels? You were up to where you had her parcels. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. So I found this extra parcel. I knew I had nine, and now ten. I said, what was going on? I said to myself. <laughs> and I, I opened it, and it was uh, uh, ladies' underwear. Ladies' underwear? Exactly. Well, so uh, mm -hmm. I called uh, Anton, and he said, uh, it must belong to Betty. You mean Bronte? Yes. Bronte, but I didn't know her name, and uh, so now I did. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. May I use your bathroom? Hmm? The bathroom. What for? Oh, uh, well, I need to use it. Uh, bathroom. Oh. <laughs> oh, please go ahead. Where is it? What? Uh, the lavatory. Could you show me where it is? Oh, yes, please, follow me. Am I whispering? Oh, that's great. Just great. <laughs> Look, that used to be the bathroom <laughs> before the renovations. <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> ah, it was the broom closet, but we made it into the bedroom, you see? And this door is the bathroom. Ah. Let him move into my apartment. I can't believe you're saying this. Well, don't look so shocked. Frankly, young lady, I think you have your priorities all wrong. You know, you married a man you didn't know in order to get a greenhouse. That shocked me. 
All right, so I'm old-fashioned when it comes to marriage. I happen to think that falling in love has something to do with it. You don't? <laughs> Fine. But if marrying a stranger doesn't shock you, then letting him move in, spend a couple of nights sleeping on the sofa, well, that shouldn't shock oh, you either. Been they want a second interview on Monday. This is Friday. That gives you the weekend to get your stories. Straight. Two days? Well, I don't see why he has to move in. Why can't he just meet me here in the park or something? Because this interview is going to be in depth. They're going to question you separately. They're going to want to know the color of each other's toothbrush. Uh, what does he like to eat? I don't know. Does he snore? You're going to have to uh, study each other's habits. It's like you're cramming for an exam. Oh, God. Do I have no alternative? Sure. You can confess everything now. He'll be deported. You could face charges and no more greenhouse. It's like living in a police state. No, no. It's called breaking the law. Now, no matter how trivial it may have seemed to you at the time, that's what you've done. Anyway, I think you should uh, introduce George to some of your friends. My friends? Let him get to know them. Say he's visiting from Paris or something. No, I couldn't bear that. He's such a slob. I do it without anybody knowing. Well, that's up to you. But listen, get that story straight. Oh, by Monday evening, this will all be over. We can start planning the divorce. I can't wait. smoking inside. What's this? It's coffee. No. Yes, it is. It's decaf. Don't you have any real coffee? I'm afraid not. <laughs> I'll make you the best coffee you ever had. I only drink decaf. You'll change when you taste this. Look, I don't want anyone to know about this, okay? So we have to make up a story in case we run into any of my friends. Something simple. You're an old friend. I admire your ballet music. You're visiting from Paris. You're staying with me for a couple of nights. You're gay. Gay? I don't want to be gay. Okay, you're not gay. You're just an old friend, and the hotels are all booked up, so here you are. Oh. Not a very good story. Well, you come up with a better one, then. <laughs> oh, no, something political. Terrorist, maybe? No, not a terrorist. But political's good. A refugee. That's it. That'll work. Yes. No, we don't say anything. Just a friend. Staying for a couple of nights. This is New York. You're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you sleep on the couch and we split expenses. <laughs> I'll cook. Hmm? Smell good. Put it back, please. No, Are you birds? What? This is a bird, isn't it? It's muesli. 
Put it back. I'll get some croissants. Yeah, I like bird seed. <laughs> sure. No, okay. No. no you, go ahead. No, no go please. ahead. You, no, please. No. Come on, honey. Come on. Oh. V? Bronte? Oh, it is you. Hey. Lauren, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm like, you know, buying food. Uh, well, it's just not your neighborhood. Mother's having one of her little musical soirees. I told her I'd pick up a few things for her. When am I going to see your new apartment? Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're together? Sort of. This is an old friend, George Foray. This is Lauren Adler. Hi, Lauren. Ooh, that accent, you're French, right? Oui. Oui? Oh, exactement. This is so weird. Everything in my life has been French lately. Monday, I buy a jacket. It's French. Wednesday, I go see a French movie. And then last night, Tony says, let's eat French. <laughs> it's like Carl Jung. What do you call it? Uh, coincidence something? Coincidence, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice to meet you, Bronte's French friend. Uh, well, Lauren... No. If you want to eat French again, I'm cooking for Bronte. Hmm? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, All right. I kind of want to have like this. Oh, yes, yes. Right. Oh, thanks. Oh, well, the last time was for the six months. Oh, Mr. Foray, for kids. Meet Mr. Foray. He's the one that's been in Africa. My kids. Huh? kids. <laughs> Maybe you, too, will be thinking about starting a family soon, huh? Oh, George. Yes? George! Yes, I'm Open the elevator. Wait. Going up. Hold it. Hold it. Going up. Wait for me. They should fix those doors. Somebody get killed around here. What did those government people want? It's nothing. We don't know exactly what they want. What's this? George's visa minor problem. They said, does Mr. Foray do this and that? And about Mrs. Foray? Did she go to Africa? And so on? Mrs. Foray? George's mother. And she died in Africa. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Killed by the elephants. I could just sit here and watch you all day, George. Some stroke of luck, huh, B? Having a French chef as a guest? Stop it, Lauren. So what are you doing in New York, George? Just crashed. Just a political... Do you go... No, go on. No, you please. A political what? Political, um, ballet. I can't imagine a political ballet. You know, sort of, uh... George writes for the ballet. He's an old friend. He's... Not gay. Of course not. Good. He just couldn't find a hotel, and he's been in Africa. Look, we all friends. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't fuck her. <laughs> what did you kill somebody for this place? You probably cut them up and used them for mulch. This is amazing. So is your French friend. I want details later. Oh, Lauren, please. My mother would adore this. Oh, speaking of my mother, guess what? She and Daddy are leaving New York. No, what about her beautiful car? They're leaving. Anyway, I've told Daddy all about the green worms or whatever they are. Green gorillas. Yeah, well, anyway, being this great old liberal, he says how he'd like to give you and your group all the plants. No. Not those beautiful trees. The trees, the plants, everything. Oh, that's fantastic. Our stocks are so low, we're desperate for plants. Oh, well, wait a minute. There's a problem. Mother won't hear of it. But, I don't know, I think if you talk to her, maybe she'd change her mind. George, ça c'est fantastique. No. Yeah, oui. No, it's not nice. <laughs> Bronte, you didn't eat anything. It's not my kind of food. She likes bird seed. Mm. It's just not healthy, all that butter. But what's the point of life if you don't enjoy yourself? Hmm? Do you mind? You're like an old married couple. <laughs> mm -hmm. So how did you two meet? 
Well, you know, Lorraine, I was uh, carrying a lot of parcels. Lauren, it's a long story. Can I tell you later? I've got lots of work I need to do. Can I take a hint? hint? No. Oh, finish your wine. Is oh. Fun. Merci. Merci. <laughs> okay. Nice to have met you, George. Nice to meet you, Lorraine. Au revoir. Au revoir. Mm. See you again. Huh? He's gorgeous. Lauren, I can good. say this now. I did not like Phil. Oh, so earnest, my God. Phil and I are still very much together. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I mean, I like Phil. He's very concerned about the environment and all that. Yes, he is. Oh, typical me, putting my foot in it. Forget it. Well, in that case, I wouldn't mind seeing George again myself. He's dishy. Mm -hmm. Doctors are so weird. Bye, Ciao. Mm -hmm. Why did you ask her to stay for lunch? This is my apartment. Oh, it's not gonna work. No, it won't work if I don't know everything about you. That silly story about the parcels. Your mother, the elephants, lying to my friend. It's all so horrible. And I know you've got a cigarette under the table, so you can smoke it outside. You begin to lie when you marry. I didn't make you lie. Well, I didn't ask her to lunch. You always blame me. You did it too. Did what? Married me. I did it for the green card. Why did you do it? No one made you. No one. Outside! Outside! If you push me to be a beast, I can be a beast. So take care. Now look what you've done, you silly French oaf. here before. You're my oldest friend. Oh, please, forget it, please. Oh, I haven't been myself lately. You're right about that. Things are complicated right now. You know, Mother's having this dinner party tonight. Well, I just spoke to her and she's invited you. Great chance for you to work on her about the trees. You could bring George. Doing in here? I went and uh, I bought some beautiful tomatoes for you. Oh, look, that's sweet, but. And outside, come on. That's right. And look, here we have a radish, peppers, oh, carrots. Oh, no, my plant. Just sweets. I put, I put uh, them out. No, this is my research. Oh, I'm sorry. I bought this for you. Just don't touch anything, okay? Okay, okay. And don't go in the greenhouse anymore. That's all I ask. It's my special place. You like your plants better than people? Some people. Look, truce, okay? I don't make the war. You asked me before why I did it. The marriage. Well, it was for the greenhouse. Greenhouse? I don't expect you to understand, but that's why I did it. Oh, I understand. You want something? You take it. 
We work tonight. Study, just like school. I have to go out. Then I'll come too. No. Why? Ah, your boyfriend, the big no, So. No, it's Lauren's parents' place. Snob types, you'd call them. Oh, I will embarrass you. No. Yes, too much off. No. Oh. Adlers are thinking about giving some trees to a gardening group I'm in. What's that? Oh, it's it's just a gardening group. We go into poor areas like the Lower East Side. And... Mm. I came from that life. You waste your time. What? Yeah. Nothing will change down there. It will always be that way. Better to forget about forget it. Forget about it? Yeah. Look, the trees are very good. Yes, sure, sure. But you can eat the trees. Well, nothing changes without hope. Oh, you think the gardens make hope? Well, it's something. The trees are very good, yes, but go to the country if you want trees. Huh? You try telling that to the children. They live with chaos, despair. You may think it's nothing to give them a garden to plant or trees to climb, but at least it's doing something. If it amuses you, then do it. Amuses me? Ah. Ah. Chaos. Despair. Better down. What? Your hair looks better down. I'll be back by 10. We can work then. Please don't answer the phone or let anyone in. Don't be late. Into the garden. Thank you. Exquisite, you know. Thank you for asking me at the last minute. No, not at all, not at all. It's just so wonderful to see you. It's been so long. And Lauren tells us you've got a brilliant new apartment. Yes. Is she here yet? My okay. point is, it's not a question of whether or not it's pornographic. The question is whether or not it qualifies as art. I mean, pornography is... Oh, well, you, I mean, your own daughter. Have you seen the stuff she does? Lafayette was on the horse and got off the horse and saluted my ancestor on both cheeks with a big kiss. Did he need to get off the horse? Now, it's pretty stupid for these environmentalists to plant trees when they don't know what they're doing. They don't listen to me, needless to say, because I'm just your average layman. But I have written the appropriate. Oh, I'll go, Alberto. That'll be Lauren. As an artist, our daughter reserves the right to be late. <laughs> At last. Hi, Mother. This is George Faure from Paris. Hi. Oh? Come on in, George. George is Bronte's house guest, but she was too shy to bring him. You don't mind, do you, Mother? But of course not. I went to pick up Bronte and found him all alone. Soyez le bienvenue. Do come in. George is a very important composer, Mother, oh, so no, you two no. will have lots to talk oh, about. Oh, no, no. très intéressant, monsieur. Mother plays the piano a little. Get it? A little. Alberto. Another place, if you will. Everybody, I'd like to present Georges Faure, a leading French composer. Ah, bonsoir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You see the man sitting across from me? Do you live in Paris, George? 
Bronte, he was all by himself. I really think he wanted to come out. It's okay. It's okay. Simon and Grace are about to celebrate their 40th wedding anniversary. Oh, Aww. Congratulations. Are you married to her? Me? Well, <laughs> not usually. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> not normally. You're getting divorced. Yes, definitely. <laughs> B, you'll never get married. What makes you say that? <laughs> oh, you've turned down enough offers. You're gonna wind up some kind of grand old Kate Hepburn surrounded by lots of beautiful plants. That's been, I know, too boring or too vulgar to spend the rest of your life with. Change your brand of men. Oh, really? Really, B. You're nice. You look for the same thing in the man, and you wind up with two nices. Nice. Ugh, what an awful word. Well, Phil's nice, isn't he? Phil's different. He's a gardener. Are you any relation? Relation? Any relation to the boy? Who the? <laughs> the boy, Gabriel. <laughs> I love his chamber music and his compositions with the harp. So sensual. We depend on donations. <laughs> And we just don't have any plans. If you could see how these gardens change these children's lives, they just don't I have... hear what you say, and I do hope you understand, Bronte, but to break up that garden would be a crime. See, I just can't do it, dear. The pleasure it's given me that it'll give to, well, to whoever buys the place. You do understand. George. No, 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 I don't play well, you know. Oh, I'm yeah. not writing. Please, George. Well, uh, one of your earlier pieces, perhaps. We should be going. Uh... Yes, we really must go. George has jet lag. Oh, uh, why not, George? Just one piece. Oh, do you mind? It isn't often we have a foray in the house. <laughs> yes, that's please. true. Come on, George. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> He's not Mozart. I know. Do you trust me? 
last slide for me, madame. What else? Une fois, j'ai entendu le bruit du vent dans les arbres. Once I heard the sound of the wind in the trees. I think that's it. Une fois, j'ai entendu le bruit du rire des enfants. Once I heard the sound of the laughter of children. J'ai pleuré à chaud de larmes pour ces arbres. And I wept warm, salty tears for the lost trees. Je sais venir les petits enfants dans les arbres et je leur donnerai de l'espoir, Gadi. Let the little children come under the trees and I will give them hope, he said. Il n'y a plus d'arbres pour ces pauvres enfants perdus. But there are no trees for the poor, lost, poor children. La pourriture est leur jouet. Decay is their toy. Despair is their game. They have only chaos to climb. trees. Okay. What? The sofa. Oh, sure. Sure. Thank you. What for? For tonight, the song, the poem. Oh, that? No, I didn't do it for you. I just did it for me. <laughs> you were mad when I came with Lauren. Yes, I was. And if you're mad, uh, we don't study. And if we don't study, I don't get a green card. <laughs> <laughs> Are you composing something now? Composing? We were always humming that little tune. Me hum? I don't hum. Yes, you do, all the time. If it bothers you, uh, I'll stop. No, I like it. Oh, funny, it's the first thing you like about me. I don't dislike you, George. I have no opinion of you. I just want it over and my life to continue as it was before. And I am waiting for my life to begin. Okay, let's get to work. These, uh, was at my grandmother's house. She had these beautiful, beautiful rose oh, gardens. Geez. Actually, it was my, my grandfather who started the rose garden behind her house. It's at the beach. <laughs> we always uh, bought these little hats. And this is kindergarten. Oh, oh and uh, these are my brothers and sisters. Oh. My dad's a writer. They live in Connecticut. He named us all after famous writers. Kind of puts a curse on your whole life. <laughs> oh. I think he wanted me to be something artistic. It was okay when I was a dancer, but he doesn't really care for gardening. Mm. That's Colette. Colette. Austin, mm. Lawrence, and Elliot. Austin, Lawrence, This Elliot. is my dad, but uh, this is a better picture. 
Strong face. Oh, strong man. Very mm. strong opinions. In fact, you and my father. You couldn't get two people more different. To... Yeah, you'd hate each other. Why? Well, you're so right wing about everything. Oh, I'm not wing. You are the one with the wing. All your ideas are from the same place. That's not true. Huh? These are from college. Different demonstrations. What for? Oh, everything. Everything. Since Lauren. No, I knew. Yeah. Phil? Yeah, Phil. Mm -hmm. mm. You're in love with him? Hmm? Yes, yes, I am. He's kind and sensitive. Vegetarian? Yes, he cares about what he puts in his body. Not like me. Big pig. <laughs> oh. I was 12 years old when I met that. Didn't the kids at school tease you? School? No. I left school at 10 years. This is the same as my father. He was a mechanic, but he always dreamed of the gypsies. He would like to be a gypsy. Travel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this one given to me by the putain. You know, putain? Prostitute. Two girls in our town. Mm. Irene and Michel. Michel has lovely red hair, long red hair. And this is how the heart is. Love and hate. If some people say they love everything, it's not true. You know? This is how their heart is. This is my honesty. <laughs> and this one, when I was a bad boy, living in the street, this is a knife for revenge. When someone made something bad to you, you make this tattoo until you find him and kill him. Then you, you make another one here with the knife put away. But you don't have that one. <laughs> no, I don't find him yet. Were you ever in jail? Yeah. What for? Just kid stuff. Stealing cars and nothing serious. Oh. Mm. And uh, when is your menstruation? My? Menstruation. Beginning of the month, of the end of the month. When? Uh, huh? Is it the... Um... Beginning of the month. Beginning, okay. <clears throat> I didn't really believe that you were a composer. I mean, we told so many lies, it's hard to know what the truth is. <laughs> you just have to trust your instinct. This was my first boyfriend from college. Mm. He was a musician, too. <laughs> he played uh, the slide trombone. Mm. And it was he first kissed those lips.
Monty? Yes? What side of the bed do you sleep on? Right side. Okay, I'll take the left side. Okay. Monty, come on. We have a work to do. Where? Africa, someday. Chérie, it is hot here in Africa and very green. The elephants have been restless again. I think it must be the drums. It makes them crazy. I miss you every day, and I ask the same question. When are you coming, Sherry? Dear George, the apartment is looking beautiful. I only have to look in the fish pond to think of you. Hurry home. You are never far from my thoughts. Much love, B. This is ridiculous. No, 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 look. <laughs> For the green card, I'd do anything. Look, now, give me a camera, huh? We need blue sky, ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are on honeymoon, and we have to smile, of course. <laughs> 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 Okay, now do it. Yes, do on okay, the skis. Okay, other one. Okay, other one. Okay, and the slalom, you know, I'm very good at slalom. You remember? Hmm? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I need the blue sky. Okay. <laughs> good. Political ballet. What? I make the oppressed. You make the victory. Okay. Victory. Victory. Yeah. Victory. Okay. Okay. One more. Oh. Okay. A green. Yes. Put the put the plant behind you. The other uh, uh, set the tension, but, but, but put the green oh, plant. We, plant we, there. We, that's that's good. Okay. We feel the elephants. I feel them, but I. Was, Maybe with a knife, like you put, yes. Ah, uh, it's there, yes. This is so silly. No, 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 that's all. One more. Smile. Okay. <laughs> okay. One more. What now? Handyman. Handyman? Yes. The good husband always does handyman things. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay.
Okay, do some handyman things. Yeah. Stay here. Hello? Surprise. That's darling. We're in your lobby. <laughs> Mother, why didn't you call? Can we come up? Of course. I look, um... You sure it's all right? Of course. Come on up. George! George, it's my parents. This is the worst. You've got to go. Okay, I can No, no, there's no time. Okay, time. Take uh, the skis. The skis, yes. Put back in the closet. The skis. Now, hold on, hold on. Bye. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Sorry. Come on. Just go. I'll make something up. Uh, Could I have a chat with you and your husband, Mrs. Foray? He was just leaving, Mrs. Yes. Bird. But I want to know about these government people and... Last night, I heard drums. No, no, no. Jungle drums. No, 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 no. Sir, please. They keep asking all sorts of questions about you and your husband. Is that a spy or something? Of Is course it? not, Mrs. Bird. Oh, Mom. Dad. What's going on? Hello, darling. Hi. I'll speak to you How later. How about the drums? Later. What? I may be tempted. Since you never can visit these days, guess it's up to us. Oh, no, it's not that. <laughs> Your father has to see someone. Oh, he saw it. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> this is George. Hello. Hi. The handyman. <laughs> oh. oh. You could just finish up the work, George. Yeah, right. I just finished my work. Oh, darling, it's beautiful. Father, well, I know now why you were so excited. It's awfully small. Did they sign the big contract, Dad? No, no, we're not going to talk about that. Did they sign a contract? No. <gasps> they backed up. Liars. They lied to me. Dear, don't upset yourself. One thing I can't stand is a liar. You read your paper, dear. We're going to look at the greenhouse. He's upset. Oh, yes. Oh, it is. You want a hand there, George? Oh, thanks. I'm just, uh, just measuring. Huh? Measuring. She's had the baby already. Premature. Mm. Oh, premature. What the mm. name? Mm. Tiffany. Now they have a Tiffany and a Tarquin. Thank you. Pretentious. Dear. Well, he's a pretentious writer, too. Ho, oh, ho. Well, he is. <laughs> well, don't you think so? You are in a bad mood. I need a screw. <laughs> Pardon? I really need a screw. I thought you were leaving. I just fixed the door, but I need I heard a... what you said, and the cupboard under the sink. I'm going to help George. He seems a bit lost. Darling, you have to pay. Never mind the hospital. Let's get those orchids, Mom. I'm sure you want to be on your way. Oh, no, dear. We're not in a hurry. Not at all. You're not really a handyman, are you, George? No. I'm a composer. Oh. I used to be a cleaner when I first started writing. Long, long time ago. We just got married. Against the wishes of my parents, I might add. Didn't have a bean. We fell in love right off. Oh, it was difficult, very difficult, but yeah. When you're in love, you know. Shipboard romance is what Excuse it was. me. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. No. It was right in the middle of a lifeboat drill. We suddenly found ourselves in the same boat. Shouldn't you be going, George? Now you're going outside with your mother. Outside, 
But George and I have everything under control. Go on, out you go. We've been talking about music and love and skiing and all manner of things, haven't we, George? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> I like your George, Bronte. Charming man. It's not my George, Mother. He should have left by now. Well, he's keeping your father happy, and you know how restless he gets in the city, so let's be grateful. Height, 557. 5'8. Five 5'8. Eight. Five eight. Weight, 140 pounds. No. Huh? No, 125. Yeah. Eyes? Brown. Brown, yeah. Small scar on your uncle. How did you know? I know, I saw it. Birthday, 24th, August, 1959. Correct. Okay, okay. my turn. Yeah. Uh, eyes, green. Height. Nose, big. No. Yes, sure. Height, uh... 5'11". Yeah. Um, weight. Oof, weight. <laughs> you worry too much about weight. Um, at 17, you met Helene. Yeah. She was at the University of Paris. Oui. She taught you to read and write music. Mm -hmm. And you lived together for seven, seven, seven years. Seven, yeah, yeah. Until she died. And then you gave up your music for many years. Right? Yes, but I don't write any music. I just play piano always in the bars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Anton heard you one night in Paris and yeah. said that he would help you start over in America. Yes, and I wake up in America, a beautiful country, land of opportunity. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to work. Um, you live with two men. First, uh, Peter, then Stephen. Both nice guy. Nice. Yes, that's what you said. <laughs> yes. And Stephen, why not married you, but uh, you think your marriage is boring? Ah, the for hours. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you met uh, Phil. Phil. Him you really love, huh? But you can't tell him that. <laughs> and I left Phil. And married me because... Uh, You're different and funny. And don't forget that a good handyman. Right. <laughs> You've had lots of women, but you haven't really loved anyone since Helene, except for me. And he fell in love with me because... Ah. What's a good reason? I just can't think. Well, it can't be that hard to think of a reason. Uh, let me see. Ah. There must be a reason. Oh, yes. Yes. Because I begin to hear music again. Sure you missed me? Of course. Sure. You don't look like you did. No, no, it looks to me like I missed you more than you missed me. <laughs> it's not true. Uh, <laughs> you should have been there. It was beautiful. Tofu's and a brown rice. I saw us there. Out in the middle of nowhere, grow our own food. One night there was this incredible moon. You should have seen it. Wow. We had the same moon. Well, yeah, but you should have seen it without all the crap in the sky. It was glorious. It was a cloudy night. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this giant shaft of moonlight breaks through the clouds. It was all 
No. Phil. The guard isn't here. Look, we'll get together tomorrow, okay, please? Just to the door, There might be some intruder lurking about. You heard what she said? She said go, okay? Who's this? Go, I'll throw you out. George, how dare you? Bronte, talk to me. Who is Get this? Get out, vegetarian! Who the hell do you think you are? George, no! I'm the husband, that's who. <laughs> What'd you say? That's my wife you've been grabbing. Now get out. Bronte! Bronte! Is this true? Yes, but it's not the way you think. What? Oh. Out. Now wait a out, minute. Out, out, out. Hey. Out. hey. You're the waiter from that restaurant. Yes, out. Hey. out. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out, pal. Lock it out, God! Cucumber! It's you. Uh, good morning, Mrs. Bird. Ever since you people moved in, there's been nothing but trouble. I didn't want to wake you, Shay. You forgot your key again. Yes. I'm always forgetting the key. You should have gone to a hotel, dear. Yeah, but the uh, board uh, wouldn't approve of such a thing. Uh, sleeping in the hallways. 
Excuse me. This isn't Africa, you Our know. Boy, if that makes uh, bird, it won't happen again. This is bird. Why did you do that last night? I just don't like vegetarians. Don't be ridiculous. The way he was bothering you, I lost control. Is that supposed to be an apology? It's not right for you. Oh, really? He knows more about people's feelings than you'll ever know. Feelings? You don't have feelings at all. You snore and your manners are atrocious. Oh, uh, you think that's important. You're a snob. Well, you're a slob. You're overweight. You're disgusting. You say you are a rebel, but you are afraid of your father. My father's made something of his life. And you live your life like you got from a book. Well, you're 40 and you sleep in the park. Ah, uh, Phil. Oh, yes. You make a nice love with Phil. Like a vegetable. You need a fuck. That's the language of the gutter. Where you came from and where you end up. I am the gutter, yes. But you, you're you like a plant. Um, a cactus. I once said I had no opinion of you, and now I do. I hate you. I really hate you. Good, good. You're first fitting. Good. Oh, God, damn, damn you. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. You have... You have... He's out and out to it, I believe. <laughs> Mr. Foray, as you know, we have doubts that your marriage is bona fide. I have here a number of detailed questions. Your answers will help us make a determination. I want you to be brief and to the point. I ask you to raise your right hand. You hereby swear that the evidence you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. I do. Your name is Bronte Mitchell Foray? My father is a writer. His name? Sydney. Sydney Parish. He didn't have a formal education. He ran away from home when he was 12. Plants. She loves all flowers and weeds. That's her research. He knows I love salads. He likes all fatty foods, you know, being French. She likes to eat such a thing as a birdseed. Birdseed? Yes. 
Müsli and decaf. Uh, oh, horrible coffee. Huh? He hums all the time. Hums? He's composing. He hasn't written in a long time. He says he's not sensitive. But that's not true. He's a very sensitive man. <laughs> he makes me laugh. She's very kind to people. Me, I don't think that way. I don't trust people. <laughs> he's had a hard life. In a way, he hasn't learned to give. But he's got so much to give. She has peace. I don't have peace. He has passion. He eats life. I'm sure that just about does it. Just a few more details. Five feet eight. Five eleven. Hundred and twenty-five. And he won't tell me how much he weighs. She slips on the right side of the bed. He's on the left. Her toothbrush? Green. Mine's green. Her face cream? Monticello. Monaco. No. Monte Carlo. That's the only answer I keep forgetting. You remember all the other answers. It's not her fault, so please don't touch her. Good, I think. Me too. <laughs> I think you're going to get what you want. The green card. Yes. I'll see you again. I mean, uh, I have to get my things. Well, I can leave them with Oscar. Oscar, good idea. Yes, right. You're right. Let's go. <laughs> as soon as we hear something, we can start. You know, the divorce. Oh. As soon as possible, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good luck with your music. I hope you get your big trees. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Bye, George. Goodbye, Monty. Oh, the ring. Madame, bijou africain.
morning, Mrs. Farray. Mr. Farray just stopped by. He said to give you this. I, I guess his, his flight was delayed. Yes, sir. Well, thank you, Oscar. Elephants have been restless again. So restless, I just can't sleep. I would like to say a last goodbye before this next safari. It's okay. What? Monticello. I think I tried too hard. I blew it. Why didn't you tell me? It's all right. We made a deal. If I leave quickly, then you keep your beautiful greenhouse. I don't care about the Time to go, Mr. Perret. No, no. I write. Let's go. I write every day. Now, Mr. Perret. And the letters will always say the same thing. When are you coming, Sherry? I do. 